if I do save right now, just update everything, and, and if I try to put this file into a blank Live 2D document, dragging everything inside of it, and yeah, what will happen, it will try to load a bit, bit. you see like the progress bar, if I do that again, it will do a progress bar and it disappear. so what's the big deal with that? So one of the main things I found while doing it is, let's go to images, go to um, mode, and make sure everything's sRGB and also 8-bit. So. When I was making the original document, it was in 16-bit and also it was sRGB. So I'll simply click, click convert everything to sRGB. And if you want to convert everything into a single layer, and I'll show why you want that. But I won't. I want to keep everything to individual layers. So just say don't flatten. If you want to flatten everything though, that's your choice. I don't really mind it. Yeah, and just make sure, just go to images and modes again. And just make sure everything's into 8-bit. Because that's the only bit um, that... Live 2D will support, and let's save this, and let's go into Live 2D, and let's try dragging in the same file again, um, which I saved in the desktop. It, this is the troubleshoot number 6, and yeah, it will tell you, give this message, full scale, this size, or whatever scale. So, I like to use choose full scale, because my PC can afford it, apparently, I, I don't know. But, and yeah, the document actually showed this time. So, what happens if you convert everything into 8-bit, uh, and also s into RGB and nothing is showing. Um, what do you do then? What like, what what happened? So if I go to the front over here and I think this is the version I think. Uh, let me double check that. Yeah, I think it's the right one. So if I go to images and modes and this is RGB in 8 bits and this is actually a folder I have issue loading. So it's RGB 8 bit and it can't load inside our live. Uh, live 2D. So I'm gonna save this file and let's go to Live 2D. Um, just killing the document for now. Let's say no, screw off document, and let's try to load the other files I have, and let's try to load the other files I have, um, and yes, it was number 4, let's simply drag this one in, and it simply won't load, it's RGB, it's 8-bit, but somehow it doesn't really work, so what's the deal with that, so sometimes inside of Photoshop, or like Live 3D, I don't know which one's having this issue, the file will just corrupt itself and doesn't really want to work so what you basically need to do is to go to file create a document a new document that has the same resolution and also the same um canvas size so for me it was a3 so simply go to presets a3 vertical and the same resolution was 300 make sure it's rgb 8 bit simply create a new one go back to the original document Control a uh Control alt a just like all the files Control c to copy and simply go to a new new document that you just created and just Control V and just paste everything in there and simply go to save and I'll just save this one called um let's go trial number eight. <laughs> so yeah, that's how many yeah, actually plus five and that's how many times I tried this format. And yeah, let's load in live 2D. Let's open that file. Um control R, yeah, number eight. Drag this in there and yeah, it will show the resolution, everything that and it will just pop up and work. So yes, the first thing I would recommend to try out is probably just to convert everything into RGB. Second thing is convert everything into 8-bit and if things that still doesn't work and the document is still refusing, create a new document and copy all the layers over and see the results of that. And yeah, that's basically that's something that worked for me and I hope this helps out. So thank you for watching everybody and see you guys next time.